The cover-up of the CCP virus outbreak in Wuhan saw many residents lose their loved ones. Many families have been traumatized both emotionally and financially. Ms. Wang's husband died from the CCP virus. She also contracted the virus herself. She is now disabled with a damaged lung and a teenage son who would not reveal his pain to her. Still mourning the death of her husband, she carries the financial burden on her own, and governmental help is nowhere to be found. I have expressed my needs to local officials, but they say they can't do anything about it. It's just me taking care of my son now. Now my husband is gone, so is our financial support. My son is going to high school this year. It's rather difficult for me to handle it all by myself. Could you talk about how your husband was diagnosed? He was hospitalized on January 12th. At first they said it's not contagious, but then they said he had to be transferred to the infectious disease unit. He suffered with a fever for days. On January 27th, he was transferred to the ICU. The next day, I was sent to the quarantine site. Two days later, I felt I wasn't quite right, so I went to the hospital and they told me I had a lung infection. They didn't specify what type of infection it was. Were you at the quarantine site this whole time? Yes. After I got out of the hospital, I was in quarantine for 14 days and then another 14 days of isolation after I got home. They kept me isolated for months. When did your husband pass away? How did they notify you? By phone. I couldn't go. I was not allowed to leave the quarantine site. He was sent directly to the funeral home. I wasn't allowed to see him. They won't let me get his remains either. I was isolated at the hotel. Nothing was allowed. I wasn't even allowed to go to my husband's funeral. I totally collapsed. I called our local cadre leaders. I cried, I begged, but it's all useless. They wouldn't allow it. Did your husband say anything before he passed away? No. I asked the doctor. The doctor said he was intubated so he couldn't talk. Now that your husband is gone and you are out of quarantine, what will you do? I can't do anything. I'm not completely recovered. Now I rely on traditional Chinese medicine at my own cost. I take the Chinese herbal medicine every day. Have you talked to the local officials about your situation and the help you'd like to get? Financially, they can't do anything about it. They provided 3,000 yuan, $423.13 USD, subsidy for the funeral. Nothing else in terms of money. I asked for some financial support from the district officials. They said financially I am not qualified. I retired at the end of 2019. I received 2,000 yuan, $282.08 USD of retirement payment. That exceeds the standard for any subsidy. But I told them I am on my own. I have to pay for my Chinese medicine, and I have a son going to high school. If anyone can provide some relief, that will help. They said no, and that's the government's regulation. We need some help financially. I can't do anything with my damaged lung. What can I do? No one will accept me as a worker. There's also my son's tuition. If they can provide something substantial, such as at least half of the tuition, I won't ask for waiving the entire tuition, but at least half. The interview was conducted on May 9th by Xiao Hua Gu of the Chinese Language Epic Times.